Hi, I'm John Arnold from Photo Walkthrough, and this is a re-record of a previous video on Photo Walkthrough where I showed you how to export multiple different sized images in one step from Lightroom. The reason I'm re-recording it is just to make it a little bit clearer and a little bit snappier. So let's jump straight in and I'll show you what I'm trying to do. You can see here I've got a folder with uh, five separate images in here and I want to be able to export multiple different sized versions of this image in one step rather than having to export four or five times for each of the different sizes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by making an export preset. I'm going to go into File, Export and uh, you can see I've already got a whole bunch of presets, but we're going to make a new one. So let's start with one of the default built-in presets. This is Burn Full Size JPEGs. Now you can see that at the top here, that's got Export to CD Stroke DVD. And I don't actually want to burn it. I just want it to go to hard drive. So I'm going to do a hard drive version here. And uh, the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to have it ask me where on disk to save these JPEGs. So I'm going to choose from this Export To folder, Choose Folder Later. And that's going to ask me when I come to export these what folder I want them to go into. Uh, the rest of this I'm going to leave OK. But file renaming, this bit's critical. This is an important step. You need to turn file renaming on because we're going to give it a very specifically formatted name. And that's how the resizer is going to know how to rename the files so that we can see what's what. So um, well, I've ch turned on rename 2. And I'm going to open that and choose edit at the bottom. And that's going to open up this little window here. And you can see by default, the preset file name just uses the file name of the file as, as the export name. I'm going to add to the end of that, dash full size. And the reason I'm going to do that is that this is going to be a full size export. And then my resizer is going to produce the smaller versions. And it's going to change that word full size to whatever size it is that it's resized it to. So I'm going to just say OK on that. Done on that. We've got custom settings. And you can see an example here of how that file is going to be named when it's exported. You can make your own file export uh, presets if you want. Just make sure if you want to use this script, it's got to have the word full size in the name because that's the bit that gets replaced with the exported smaller version size. Um, file settings here, um, the image format, we're going to leave it as JPEG because these are going to be files to be uploaded to websites typically. Uh, we'll leave the quality alone, we'll leave the color space alone. We certainly don't want to do any resizing. We want to leave these images at the full size. Um, then coming further down, if we want to add a watermark, here's where you do it. I'll leave that up to you. That's a separate subject. Um, but I do personally put watermarks on most of the images I export. Um, the bit that really matters is this bit at the bottom. After export, we want to open in another application. Now, I'm going to choose that. And to choose the application I want to open in, I have to click this Choose button down here. But I haven't written that application yet, so let's go ahead and do that. Before we finish this export preset, we need to make a little program that's going to do the resizing for us. Um, and the way we do that is, uh, on a Mac, you fire up a program called Apple Script Editor. And this is the window you'll get. You'll get this blank window here. And we're going to need to paste some code in here. So let's go to the Photo Walkthrough website. And the script that we're using here was written by a wonderful chap by the name of John E. Day. He is at John E. Day on Twitter. And his website is www.johnneday.com. Um, he is a, a very talented programmer and an extremely helpful guy. Because when I was trying to solve this problem... I whined on, on Twitter and had a, a bunch of people respond, loads of helpful people out there. But the guy that solved it was, was John Day. So thank you very much, John. Um, I really appreciate you not only writing the script, but letting me use it and share it around uh, for the rest of the world to see. So um, all I've done is I've gone to the photo walkthrough site, highlighted that bit of the page there. I'm pressing Control or Command C, and then I'm coming into this window and pressing Command V to paste it in there. Um, and that really is it. There isn't much more to do. If you want to change what size it exports to, you can see there's a, a list of sizes here, 1,000, 2,000. Let's add in a 3,000 as well. There we go. And then we can just, if you press the compile button, that just makes sure that it's going to compile. You don't really need to do that bit. But the most important step here, and the bit that you must get right, is when you save it, you go to the file menu and save. 
and you need to change this bit here where it says file format you need to change that to application if you don't do that you won't be able to use it from Lightroom so let's save that just in my documents and let's call it resize uh, uh, yeah let's call it resize that'll do save and that's saved that resizer program we can close that now we can kill Apple script editor we're all done there let's go back to Lightroom and now when I click the choose button here in my documents folder it'll be under ah oh, there it is resizer that's the one we just made you can see some old detritus from when I've been doing this before the one we just made is resizer I'm going to choose that and uh, now I need to, this is another important step, you need to save this preset. So click the Add button, and then give this a name. We'll call it Resizer here as well. Oh no, I've already got one called Resizer. Let's call this uh, New Resizer. There we go. I'll call this New Resizer. Click Create. And now I've got an export preset called New Resizer. And when I click the Export button... It's going to ask me where I want to save them on disk. So I'm just going to put them on the desktop and I'll call it, put them in a folder called test. I'll create that folder. There we go. And click open. And now this is going to start exporting full size versions. You can see it's exporting the progress bar up here uh, with the file name full size in the name. And uh, we'll just fast forward a moment now and take a look at what it produces. OK, so we're back, and here is my test folder. And you can see we've got all these files being generated um, with some pretty horrible names, I'll grant you. But uh, you can see for each one, we've got a full-size version. And then we've also got a 3,000-pixel version and a 2,000-pixel version and a 1,000-pixel version, which is exactly what we wanted. Let's just take a look at the comparative sizes there. The full-size version is 11.4 meg. The 3000 pixel version is 1.2 meg, so uh, a tenth of the size. The 2000 pixel version is 500k, so that's a twentieth of the size. And the 1000 pixel version is 147k, which is uh, not quite a hundredth of the size. I mean, that's a, that's a very big difference in in, uh, in file size. So. That's how you go. That's how you do it. Um, there's just this one little program you need to write. It's only going to work on a Mac. I'm sorry to you, Windows users. Um, I haven't got a solution for for Windows yet. If I find one, I will publish it. But um, but yeah, if you've got a Mac, then Apple Script is part of the operating system. You don't need to buy it. You don't need to do anything special to get it. Just run that program, Apple Script, and editor, and paste the code in, and it's job done. Simple as that. I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching. Check out the Photo Walkthrough website where you'll find loads, loads more of free photography-related videos. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Photo Walkthrough is a free online video show about photography and digital photo editing using Photoshop and Lightroom. Join the Photo Walkthrough community, find all the old shows, and subscribe to the new ones for free at photowalkthrough.com.